Hello everyone, in today's video I would like to do a review of Deep in Linux 20.6 but hey I'm currently at 9.8k subscribers, 200 more left to reach 10,000. Subscribe now and help me reach the goal. Turn on post notifications if you feel my videos are useful. I have tons of updates coming up for my channel. Also I will be going full time YouTube after a few days so you can expect more quality contents coming up soon. For the time being, enjoy the video. So let us begin with the installation interface. The installation interface looks pretty much the same. The first select the language. Next you can either use the entire disk or create a new partition for dip in. Now you have the option to choose or allocate the root partition size manually even even during the fill disk installation. I love this colorful layout adds to the beauty at the same and at the same time enabling better representation of the partitions being used. Now after the installation they again ask uh, the language then you need to enter the location select the keyboard layout the name password and finally you are greeted with a deep in desktop environment from the outside it looks the same but hold on there are tons of new features the app store now supports filtering and classification of search results now there are native linux applications windows applications and even android apps so if we search for um, an app like Firefox so there are the three types that are there you can choose the native deep in application that are there or you can choose for the Windows apps or the Android apps if you want to download now they have also optimized the version information display on the application uh, details page process display during the application download and installation so if you go and download an app they have uh, made some changes there so if you install audacity there it starts the download they have also improved the loading of uh, speed of the app store page and i can't agree as of now the app store feels a little bit faster but at the same time more than half of the basic features don't work properly while an unified app store might look like a dream come true right but uh, at the same time uh, it has its own caveats there's a uh, improved launching and loading of applications that are distinguished uh, directly that is the linux apps the windows apps and the android apps they're distinguished directly and we can appreciate the effort for bringing them inside a single roof so how they're dis uh, distinguished is that uh, here you can see this is deep in apps and now if we go for something else let's search for wine i should be getting some apps under that which belong to the windows environment so the performance is still not the best as you can see the search time does take a lot so there are some wine apps as you can see if you click on them you will see that those are windows applications now the updates in the browser enhances the security greatly with the newly added settings and management in clearing the browsing data automatically and the default encrypted cookies feature you have the option to select the time range even and even switch between basic or advanced settings it now supports changing the default search engine according to the system language and the, during the initial installation now the disk utility comes with the all new logical management feature so let us open the disk utility app and enter the password confirm and uh, it effectively improves the scalability of the system and the convenience of disk management starting from formatting to create new partitions with the option of choosing your partition type now you have better performing complete app with a beautiful user interface the different volumes are represented with different colors which make it easier to work with and also adds to beauty at the same time now the grand search comes with all new features and it allows you to quickly locate and view files by distinguishing it on the field such as the latest modification and time so i have two uh, text files with the same name that is sample.txt and as you can see it shows you the different modified times at the different uh, locations present at different lo location one of them is at desktop another one is at the documents folder they also have added the feature of results of apps and they have added the best match feature so if we search for the sample.txt you can get the best match feature in the topmost part and the feature is to distinguish the search results with the same name by the last modification and the parent path as I've explained earlier. Now there is a all new feature that is a, not a new one but the old one which has been made better and there is the new uh, 
OCR recognition feature that uh, Deepin had introduced. So not this one. Let's go to the screenshot app. Um, let's open some website. Let's go for Wikipedia. And if, if we open the screenshot app and let's choose a random article and click on OCR. Now this has been made. Uh, this has the accuracy rate of the OCR has been improved comprehensively. Now, Deepin has even shared two screenshots comparing the text recognizing feature. It's crazy how much they have improved. And uh, as of now, what I find for English language, it's uh, almost the same. I think for the other languages that they have, they have improved a lot. Along with the feature updates, there are also some custom uh, optimizations that they have brought up. Now, Deepin feels super smooth because of the uh, because it comes with the stable kernel updated to 5.1534, and they have also enabled NTFS 3 in kernel version 5.1534. They have even added the repository for the version 5.173 kernel. Now, the file manager also comes with some new. Uh, optimization of the interaction of dragging files from outside when the page is full of files in the list view. They have optimized the interaction feature which occurs here. So you can easily move the file into some other directory as you want. The calendar has another uh, four time settings that is 15 minutes later, one hour later, four hours later or tomorrow they added to the remind me feature of the calendar. So if we go and get the calendar. Let's go for the remind me feature and as you can see they have added uh, this at uh, four time settings that is the 15 minutes later one hour later four hour or you can even go for tomorrow and other options that are there they have supported adding and managing custom event types also to the calendar the camera has a support for GS streamer coding. They have added many features to their mails app, but they have added so many features that I can't even log into my mail ID. Previously, it was a problem with Google that they removed the support and all, but this time it appears that I, whatever the password is correct, if whenever I enter the password, I've tried with different accounts, but I can't just can't get it to work. So that is a big problem that Deepin has as of now in their system. That is with the mails app. So I'm not stating any of the features of the mails app because I find it basically useless in my system. Now, they uh, also they have made some changes in additions in the draw application. If you open the draw application, now they have the added the support for the following formats and also the support for the following formats when drawings are saved and exported. Now they have even optimized the export and save parts of the drawing and the display order of the main menu. For the calculator, they have added support for switching ability uh, for the 1000 and the 10,000 separator. In voice notes, they have support selecting fonts during uh, text edition feature. So if you go to voice notes, you can create a new notebook and you can use your voice. And at the same time, you can change the, uh, you can select fonts during text edition. Now in text editor, they have improved the uh, coding format accuracy. I didn't find anything um, very useful for me for coding. Almost uh, every line is represented in a very uh, in the same fashion or the color, unlike the G edit or any other editor, which sometimes highlights certain part of the code. So if you open the text editor, let's just uh, write something very simple. As you can see, it detects the uh, brackets that are there, but there are no highlighting that comes up. Uh, let us go for some other text editor if we find out gedit. So if we install gedit, sudo apt install, enter the password, press the enter button, and there you go, enter y, and this should install gedit. And we will just copy the same code and put it there on gedit and see that the highlighting feature that comes with gedit, which is far more easier to use and much better. So this kind of features can be implemented in Deepin if they like, uh, if they would like to make uh, the system something better. This is it. Okay.
you have several highlights mode you have let's search from search for java and as you can see the highlighting occurs there so this uh, feature really comes handy while you're using uh, a normal text editor uh, for just coding something so even if i write something else as you can see it does a little bit of coloring and all which makes it look uh, much better there you go none of these features are available in the default text editor of deepin now in addition to this there are tons and tons of fixes i'll link them in my description below you can go and check them out from there and that's all for this video um thank you so much for watching to like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one